and on behalf of India team, rise to support this motion of no confidence in the present government headed by the Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji. Sir, never before in our country's recent history has it gone through such scales of very palpable communal tension, violence, atrocities against tribals, women and children, and against the marginalized sections of the society and the people belongs to backward classes in the society. Sir, sir from east to west, north to south, different parts of our country are experiencing communal tension and violence orchestrated by the political forces whose primary agenda is to encourage division among the people on communal lines and to have a religious polarization and thereby take political advantage out of the religious polarization. So recently in Karnataka and even in West Bengal that experiment was done but that mission was failed. But recently we, we have seen that in Haryana it is being experienced and in Haryana, they have succeeded in unleashing large scale of violence and creating a Hindu-Muslim divide among the people of Haryana that is being going on. Sir, the very strange thing to be noted is that the launch of the state's bulldozers on the victims and their properties after unleashing violence on the innocent people has become a famil familiar pattern of ethnic cleansing. Sir, demolition of the houses, the shops and the establishments, after unleashing violence on the people, the poor innocent people, it has become the order of the day. That means the, the government and the administration is trying, to, is trying to distract the properties of the victims also. That is also being experienced. So it is in this backdrop of such an extremely volatile situation we are forced to move such a no-confidence motion. Sir, if there is any one entity singularly responsible for the happenings in India, who is none other than the union government led by the Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji. That this government is solely responsible for all the happenings in India, including the political situation prevailing in the state of Manipur. Sir, I do hope that the peace-loving and the truly patriotic members of this house will definitely vote for this motion to protect our composite nationalism, our diversity, our democracy, and our sacred constitutional values. Sir, for the last three months, we have, the entire world has been watching the, watching the extent of indifference, ineptitude, ineptitude, insensitivity, and total inefficiency in handling the violent situation in Manipur, demonstrated by both the central government and the state government. Sir, what better evidence is needed to prove the total inefficiency in and ineffectiveness of the government at the center and the union government when we discuss about the Manipur situation and the lack of their commitment of in handling the extremely volatile situation in a small state like Manipur. If the government is not able to handle the situation, not able to restore the peace, not able to maintain the law and order and tranquility in a small state like Manipur, then what is the efficiency and what is the double engine power of the government at the center and the state? And what is the hold, what is the strength of the prime minister having such a strong office, office of the prime minister? So the government has to explain this. Government is to answer about this. Sir, I had the opportunity to visit the state of Manipur with the team members of India and had the opportunity to visit the people who are being affected due to the violence and the riots which has happened in the state of Manipur. So it is quite unfortunate to note that the situation in the state of Manipur is very, very pathetic. It is heartening and some, it can be surmised as it is a grim in the state of Manipur. Sir, what? So therefore, I urge upon the government at least better late than never. Please act. The Prime Minister has to act. The Prime Minister has to speak. Sir, Honorable Chairman, sir, under what circumstances we are moving this? Just now, Mr. Arif has stated this no confidence motion. This is the first time in the history of Indian Parliament. In order to ensure the presence of the Prime Minister of the country, a duly elected Prime Minister of the country has to come to the House or to ensure the presence of the Prime Minister. The opposition is, opposition is compelled to move a no confidence motion is a strange thing which is happening in the parliamentary democracy. Yeah. Sir, it is, it, is, it, is, it is shameful to the nation. 
the honorable prime minister just half an hour before the house resumes or the winter such or the monsoon season starts he made a statement outside the parliament building outside the house and he has equated the situation in manipur with the chatisgarh and rajasthan so what what tempt him to make such a comparison whether we can compare the situation in rajasthan and chatisgarh is he is equal to that of the situation in manipur so the silence of the honorable prime minister sir after the incidents have started on 3rd may and subsequently three month bath has taken place in through all india radio the honorable prime minister has not even made a single sentence or a statement about the situation in manipur at least the honorable prime minister could have appealed to the people of manipur to cooperate with the government to restore peace and law and order in the state what prevented the what prevented the prime minister from making a statement what prevented the prime minister from coming to the house and making an address to the house and to appeal to the whole people of india not only to the people in particular to the people of manipur to maintain peace and tranquility so what all this would goes to shows that something is there that is why sir the people of manipur in particular the minority communities in the state of manipur is under the impression and having an apprehension that the silence of, of the uh, silence of the prime minister is deliberate with an intention to achieve some political gains so sir that is the allegation which is being made by the people of the manipur when we have visited the state of manipur sir recently a highly respected and learned spiritual leader of manipur has said i quote sir little does our prime minister realize that he is taking india through the darkest days of our history only the next generation will be able to evaluate the level of insanity which we have been forced to discern and quote sir this is the statement of a learned spiritual leader in the state of manipur in in in, in light of the incidents have taken place so this is the situation prevailing in the state of manipur sir i am coming to just uh, just now i am coming to the next point is regarding the supreme court judgment yesterday sir i am very proud to say the india teams no confidence motion moved by gaurav ganguly it is being ratified by the honorable supreme court yesterday by its verdict because it is a ratification by the supreme court it is a judicial ratification of the no confidence motion because what the entire administration of the state of manipur has been taken over by the supreme court and you see the three major measures the supreme court has done sir one is the three member committee in order to look into the relief operations as well as the rehabilitation and investigation by cbi will be done or monitored by the supreme court through the retired dgp of maharashtra sir he is not a no confidence of the union government and the cbi sir he is not a no confidence by the supreme court that we are not believing we are it is cbi is not trustworthy that is why the former dgp of the maharashtra he is being interested to look into the aspects and to report to the supreme court timely it has to be it has to be timely it has to be reported to the supreme court also see if that be the situation and, and another point sir the third measure which the government sorry the third measure the honorable supreme court has taken you um, you might have seen that 42 police officers not below the rank of the inspectors from other states will be the members of the 42 special investigation team sir the chief minister the chief minister of the state of manipur biren singh when the incident of naked parade of two sisters have come out in the viral video what was his reaction when it was being when when the when the press people has asked about the response of the chief minister of the state what he has said we are having more than 6000 fir has already been registered we are not in a position to say what happened to it what is the stage of investigation such an irresponsible reply from the state in from the chief, state chief that is the chief minister of the state of manipur that is the thing which has happened that is why the supreme court the house the people at large have lost the confidence in the state administration that is a definite fact sir on may 4 this naked parade of these two ladies have take, took place when the fir was registered the fir was registered only on 17th of may that is after 14 days only the fir has been registered these two girls or these two ladies were captured from the police custody 
and the police is well aware of, well aware of the incident even after the police is not ready to take an fir and the fir which was taken on 17th of july was 17th of july was a zero fir was loaded and subsequently when the action when the arrest was took place that was on 20th july when the naked video was become viral or naked the thing has become viral in the social media as well as in the public only after that the first person is arrested and four other persons are arrested that means madam was just now telling that why the video has been circulated suppose the video has now come into the public domain it is definite that none of them would not have been arrested because of the attitude taken by the state government sir how the people of manipur will rely on such a chief minister he is still continuing in power and he is still enjoying the power and the people have lost the confidence on the chief minister but it is quite unfortunate that is why i am saying that three major measures taken by the government sorry taken by the or adopted by the supreme court to appoint a three women judge, women judges panel to look into the relief and rehabilitation and investigation of the cbi being monitored by a director general of the police of the maharashtra retired dgp and also 42 police officers outside the state of manipur will be part and parcel of the 42 special investigation teams sir what does the supreme court decision indicate so the both the governments at the center and the state are miserably failed in dealing the manipur situation in restoring peace and maintaining law and order situation in the state of manipur sir the, it proves that the constitutional machinery of the manipur state is totally collapsed according to me it is a fit case for dismissal of that government by invoking article 356 of the constitution but i do not support 356 we are against the 356 therefore i appeal to the honorable prime minister to the government of india the bjp leadership remove that chief minister at the earliest at least that should be done from the part of the political leadership why you are still maintaining him that means you are indirectly supporting the chief minister that means you are indirectly supporting all the actions taken by the chief minister and the particular state government why he is still there he has made a drama of resignation we have all seen i'm not going to it so so the highest court of this land is fully ratifying the no confidence motion moved by the india alliance that is absolutely that today also morning Nishigan Dubey was talking about this is an unnecessary motion being moved but the Supreme Court says the constitutional machinery of the particular state is collapsed and the next responsibility is with the union government it is quite unfortunate to say that the union government is not in a position he is not empowered to take any action on the state of Manipur even after the collapse of the constitutional machinery in the state 160 people have been killed Thousands of people have been hurt, injured, and 65,000 people of Manipur has already been in rescue camp and shelters in such a, and thousands of houses were burned. People are, people are in, in the relief camps also, the pathetic situation, the relief camp also, it is very, very pathetic. In such a situation also, suppose the union government, the government of India is not taking any proactive measures to look into the affairs and to combat and to restore peace, then what is the responsibility and accountability of the union government as far as this issue? Following immediate measures, number one, I have already stated that to replace the chief minister with immediate effect. Sir, number two, send an all-party delegation to the state of Manipur under the leadership of a cabinet minister, if it is possible to have the home minister. And number three, sir, convene an all-party meeting to be attended by the prime minister to find out a political resolution to the basic issues of Manipur as well as the Northeast. And four, rehabilitation and relief measures have to be strengthened and expedited on the auspicious of the government of India, Union of India. You cannot rely upon the state government. The Union of India has to step into the shoes of the state government to expedite the rehabilitation and relief operation in the state of Manipur. And five, five sir, it is very, very important that initiate proactive action on the part of the government of india and the political leadership to build up the confidence building measures because the manipur people of manipur now an internal war is there so internal war between two sects of the society i'm not naming anyone 
in such a situation the confidence building measures we the entire political parties the government we are all with the people of manipur we have to restore peace and tranquility in the state of manipur for which an all party meeting has to be convened and political resolution has to be adopted these are the points which i would like to highlight on the part of this manipur issue sir as far as other issues regarding the economic scenario of our country because this is a no confidence motion so the economic situation of the country has gone from bad to worse over the last 9 years so the reckless decision on demonetization and hasty implementation of gst have broken the backbone of our economy the agriculture sector is in total turmoil so with the highest ever recorded 8% un unemployment growth and price rise has created unrest among the common people sir 8% of unemployment growth rate is all the universal record as far as india is concerned because such an unemployment growth is which is affecting the whole country especially the educated youth so our country cannot continue to live with this kind of irresponsible insensitive and inefficient government longer it is very difficult to survive with this government so it is the right time to make the government accountable to the people through the house of people for which no other better way but to vote against the government and pass this motion on the floor of the house sir the house of people lok sabha is the representatives of the people directly elected from the people the house of the people the prime minister the ministers the government is directly responsible padam sir करने के लिए वो इकट्ठे करने पड़ेंगे सो माई पॉइंट इज सर द हाउस ऑफ द पीपल इज द राइट फॉरम बाई विच द गवर्नमेंट कैन बी मेड अकाउंटेबल सो माई सबमिशन इज माई सबमिशन इज देर इज नो अदर ऑप्शन एज फार एज ऑपोजिट इज कंसर्न टू ऑट फॉर दिस कॉन्फिडेंस सॉरी नो कॉन्फिडेंस मोशन बाई विच द गवर्नमेंट हैव टू बी मेड अकाउंटेबल विद दिस वर्ड वंस अगेन आई स्टैंड विद इंडिया अलायंस sir india alliance that is indian national development and inclusive alliance sir we are transform yes i am concluding sir we are transforming national democratic alliance nda into india that is the difference we are making nda into india and for which sir the confidence no confidence motion i strongly support and stand with india alliance to support this motion with this words i conclude thank you very much sir sabha ki karwai बुद्ध